Today, we are gathered here to express our solidarity and unity for the democratic right of our people to demand for a separate frontier Nagaland state for the people of Eastern Nagaland area. <clears throat> the present area of Eastern Nagaland under the aegis of Eastern Nagaland People's Organization was historically and geographically never under any foreign rule before the advent of independence of India and it was known as excluded unadministered area and even the British left this part of Nagaland as, as unconquered and uh, unoccupied. Whereas Naga Hills, which is inhabited by other advanced tribes in the southwestern part of Nagaland, was a district of Assam under the British Raj since 1866 and until recently. It was only in February 1948, the Eastern Nagaland region consisting of Chang, Hom, Sangtam, Konya, Kabyuan, Imkyung, and Tikir tribes came into the map of India as a division of North Eastern Agency, known as Tinsan Frontier Division, under the Ministry of External Affairs. Today, the Eastern Nagaland area covers the area uh, district of Kifiri, Longleng, Mon, Tuinsang, Shamotor, and Nukla, which occupies 8,154 square kilometers out of the total area of 16,579 square kilometers of Nagaland state. Following the indiscriminate demarcation of imaginary boundary between India and Burma, now Myanmar, drawn by the Prime Ministers of India and Burma, passing through houses and farmlands without the knowledge and consent of the native village owners and the village authorities who were the custodians of this traditional land of our region. Then India and Burma mutually created a 16 kilometer buffer zone that known as free movement regime to allow uh, allow the ethnic people living on both sides of the country to cross the international boundary, a simple permit system of the relatives to visit their families. These two countries decided to keep off the security patrolling within the FMR belt, leaving the 16 kilometer space of either side of international border without proper checks and balances of whoever crossed into the country. However, by introducing this free movement regime, system resulted in many unwanted social activities, human trafficking, drugs and arms smuggling, etc., which has miserably affected the Eastern Nagaland region in both social and political life, thereby ushering in a life of uncertainty. In 1957, the Twinsang Frontier Division of Northeast Frontier Agency and the Naga Hills District of Assam were amalgamated into the administrative unit as the Naga Hills Tinsang area. And during this period, a few schools and primary schools uh, centers were built in eastern Nagaland region, along with a couple of roads, with which were mostly of Kacha nature. On 1st September, uh, 1st December, 1963. The Eastern Nagaland Region, the South Frontier Division of Nifa, and Naga Hills District of Assam combined and formed into a full fledged state. <coughs> but this district, which is now known as Eastern Nagaland Region, was awarded the State of Region Council under Article 371A of the Indian Constitution, which kept it under special provision for a period of 10 years from 1963 to 1973 consisting of 35 members of the region council and the deputy commissioner, the de facto chairman of the council, was none other than the deputy commissioner of Kuensang, who was directly under the control of Nagaland commissioner and the chief minister of Nagaland. Although the eastern Nagaland area had 48% 49, uh, of the total population of the state of Nagaland, only six MLAs were represented in this region and the Naga Hills was represented by 14 MLAs. In the Nagaland Assembly and the Nagaland State was created. So, the Eastern Nagaland people 
had voiced a grievance of underrepresentation in the State Assembly. Then Assembly seats were increased to 12 MLAs for 2076 in 1968, and in completing the 10 years of special provision period, the Eastern Nagaland uh, region was allocated only 20 seats. Whereas this area should have got 40 assembly seats. Depriving the Eastern Nagaland people of this day under the under underrepresented in the Nagaland State Assembly. Under the Constitution of India, Article 371A class clause 2 B. Itya Eta Amar Youth Puriya Janista that is clearly I say that the money which should be uh, sanctioned from the center would be divided equally between the rest Nagaland and Eastern Nagaland. Governor failed to do that. Governor was supposed to see that 50-50 would have been divided, but he was sleeping in the shop. It took a strongly to poison. Shuru Shubra, mother, stepmother, the treatment, Amakan Diabra, Amakan to poison. Now, the people of Eastern Nagaland have felt about stepmother treatment, which is still continued by the state government. As the Eastern Nagaland region is situated in an extremely, extremely strategic location, this should have been a good enough reason for speedy and all round development. It has been more than 50 years, and yet no tangible development has taken place, and Eastern Nagaland people feel that the time it has finally come to this region to fully separate and the entire affairs of the administration should be handled exclusively by the local people who are now ready and capable to manage their own affairs. The promise of the people of Eastern Nagaland by the rest of Nagaland for a better life now and an even better future is not is at the crossroads of stark poverty, deeper hardship, hopelessness and despair for upcoming younger generation. How much longer will the Eastern Nagaland people have to bear the brunt of the entire ever increasing state debt? State debt money, we saw Nabuncha, Aro Thargura, Ibluk Tuspogra. Debt burden and resource deficit in the backdrop of generous and increasing central funding releases to the state along with the multiple allegations now in the public domain of rampant corruption cases and gross instances of misgovernances. It is shocking to know that the latest Niki Ayok, a public policy institution established by the Bodhi government, a report on the Northeastern on Sustainable Development Goals of 2020-21, brought out a chart of eight Northeastern states in which Sikkim is first position and given an excellent remark. Whereas Nagaland state is mentioned as the worst performing state in India, it is also mentioned that all those seven to six of Eastern Nagaland uh, areas as shown as unsatisfactory and given the status of aspirational category. For example, Kifri district ranks at the bottom of the list on serial number 103. Today, the Eastern Nagaland region per capita income stands around 5,000 rupees, whereas the Nagaland states at 16,000 rupees. It only as a respect for Indian government or Nagaland government Milagana state to Halibi at the country to Halibi, Echun Exal de Kiban Bai. It will have an assessment for Ade, Kizani Nagaland, India, the subs in Richard Amars. 5,000 Bade, Nagaland, rest Nagaland, 6,000 Bai. India, India, the Haryana, Noele, Punjab, Noele, Karnataka, Maharashtra. As by the statistics of employment of Eastern Nagaland people stands at 7.4. Exo day, Nagaland state of employment day, exo day, 7.4 charter. Or Nagaland resto, 92.6. Exode 92.6 7.4. It will 
This has been checked and prepared by the village councils. Home Ministry goes there, State Government goes there, 21 percent as it. If you have challenge, you can post it, post it, post it, post it, post it, post it, so post it, 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 one very good achievement which EMBO succeeded in was elected. Although the saddest part of the present status of Nagaland state has a huge deficit loan borrowed from various banks, financial institutions amounting to 8,000 crores. Targuria, Nagaland state, World Bank, Asian Bank, Tusatroa Institution, Bra, Adhajarase. Chuti Kali, Targan Goma, Amagan is a Pusat, the correct regular. Abuna Ani, two Hajar Hajali, Paribu. Abuni, Tinza Mano Olibi, Eastern Nagana Holibi, Nolibi, Forward Mano Olibi, Puisa Babas Kurile, Abuna Bra, two thousand is that to be an age of It is not situation the same. Therefore, with the sort of liability at hand, one cannot imagine the Nagaland government's ability to undertake any tangible infrastructure development in the Eastern Nagaland region for the next 30 to 40 years. Chalis, 30 or 40 years, before the Kipa Development Pavolet on the Sobhanasi. Besides, there are several ongoing projects in the state which have been executed 30 to 40 percent, and the money sanctioned for these projects have been exhausted. Which are kinds, I say. 30 to 40 percent, Kudam Kurigana, which are kinds, I say, in the Project to Atati Desi. Right from the inception of the state, uh, the details of people were not used to fiscal responsibility and were the biggest consumer of budget of the government with over 140,000 employees belonging to the state government. The salary, work, and other facilities spent on government servants, and the fact that there are too many of them misusing precious resources of the state by improper implementation and inappropriate spending, which clearly reflected in the CAG control of um, Auditor General of India. If the institution of the government of India set up, the Kiman state in the 33, 34 state of the state, the state of 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 Calculate Gurade Amar every year, Pacha session day, read out Gurade. Misappropriation, BC control over the Pisa Kurjabura, it will report as a it over Amahan Sukujola, Nile, I designed his day playing Gurade. It will cover in the Lakan Sushan Brass set up Gurina, Ota report day, it will decrease. It will technical word Amahan the Jolaile, Central Gomoito, Eastern Navalento. Mundo to Prabe, which is the other American CG Larigo mentioned group, so that they don't run away from the fact. The pitiable part of this Eastern Nagaland region has been left out of the five five year plan. You know, Amar 1951 day five year plan in Dialaga Star Kore, Amar to Divadi, the state of Made, five year plan to Tinta Charja Chagene, Amar to join us. You know, five year plan plan to plan Gurado. Pass all the key program banabo, key rasta banabo, key university banabo, key institution banabo, given hospital banabo, it do program so, but now key key state or the region de banabo, it do la program de amakan thagane. Kind do amakan it do pass all laga program to char bar chali ke nahi pass party hoga se. Do grammar laga infrastructure ko nahi, that the state de humai ke da it do laga amakan global puncha to hoga se. Then. We have the where's the good roads connectivity paramount important. However, till there is no single road Eastern Nagaland which can be called a uh, good uh, good good better road. Achita ito amagan state the ahile bi black top kuriya noile all weather rasta. Ani bohon ahile bi noile winter the pera ahile bi ukur tuksuk noke ke pera bol ekla sabi nahi. Ito bana karne ito tekhas. Aro then. The Eastern Nagaland, which can be called all natural resources, Amar Matite natural resources, species, or international trade center, Tinta Therefore, the uh, 
This is to promote trade and commerce towards Asian countries. Government of India can take out this. Takan Bishipar Hudi, Abuna Hudi State, Koyele, Economic Corp of Development. Ito lang ko tas. Amagan hati resources as it, natural resources, trade and sundry as it. Beautiful tourism, Kulikul as it. Our Chogra Chogrikan had come to live at Bishipar. It took the Kamu Gane, Takan get argument to us. The tragedy of oil to poverty and unemployment problem, a huge number of boys and girls from Eastern Nagaland region are migrating to more developed towns like Kohima, Dimapur, Mogokchong, which are advanced areas of Nagaland state. The youths leave their home to earn a mere two square meals or simply to receive a primary, basic primary education and return work for domestic health and many of them work without salary. Today, around 15 to 20,000 young people are compelled to leave their homes for better opportunity and other, uh, often these youngsters fall prey to human rights violation among things to abuse, etc. Owing to the backwardness of the series of situation prevalent in the Eastern Nagaland region on 16, 17, uh, 16 and 19th March 2012, Nagaland State Legislative Assembly summoned a for debate on demand for separate state of the Eastern Nagaland area. At the end of the session, the House resolved and passed a resolution for the creation of the then four autonomous district council. However, this demand was rejected by the ENPO outrightly. Thereafter, the uh, Eastern Nagaland People's Delegation met the then Home Minister of India, Sri P. Chidambaram, on 6th December 2010, and a friendly suggestion was forwarded by him and accept an improvised version of the Regional Council status for the Eastern Nagaland people. The East ENPO dele uh, delegation politely declined the offer and explained it to the Home Minister of India that at this time a similar status had been earlier experimented in the region by the Act of Indian Parliament which failed to meet the aspirations of the Eastern Nagaland people. Therefore, every village council in Eastern Nagaland region has resolved and with 100% mandate to press the demand for a full-fledged frontier Nagaland state, leading to the formation of Eastern Nagaland People's Organization, democratically spearheaded by the ENPO. A memorandum was submitted to the Prime Minister of India for demand of frontier Nagaland state by the EMPO on the 5th of November 2010 at New Delhi. The EMPO, which is grassroots organization of Eastern Nagaland region, are highly hopeful that the present governor at Santa, led by Sri Narendra Modi ji, would be sympathetic to the Eastern Nagaland people's demand for the frontier Nagaland state and fulfill their desire and aspiration of the following features. Number one, a separate state assembly Number two, a capital. Number three, a direct funding for the development of Eastern Nagaland region from the central government. Number four, a separate high court. Number five, a separate governor. Number four, five, uh, six, since elsewhere, Dinsang area, which is now referred as Eastern Nagaland region, needed special protection to preserve and respect the religious or social practices of the Nagas their customary laws and procedures, administration of civil and criminal justice involving decisions according to the Naga customary law, ownership and transfer of, Naga, uh, of land and its resources, which was considered very important by the government of India, particularly for the backward Eastern Nagaland region. And so the Parliament of India has agreed to provide this special provision for the Constitution of India. Because the people living in Tinsan Frontier Division, now known as Eastern Nagaland, has very rich customs and traditions which have been practiced since time immemorial and during the British rule in India. The tribes of Koja, Om, Santam, Jang, Yemkyung, Tekirs, and Kamdimans were excluded and administered. In order to protect them from exploitation from outsiders, a law was brought about and it was known as the Bengal Eastern Regulation Act of 1873, which prevented outsiders from entering this region. 
without valid uh, documents or inner line permit. During the debate in Parliament House, the Prime Minister of India made a categorical statement giving protection to Tinsang people at the introduction of 13th Amendment Bill and State of Nagaland Bill 1962, which was adopted, enacted under Article 371A of the Constitution of India to specially safeguard the backward tribes from exploitation. Therefore, this Act of Parliament is immutable. It is immutable to Bahaburah Hibde. Kitabio Kashmir is the Bilawan one. Article 71 to Bilaisena. In the case of this Article 371A, is a political agreement and it's immutable. It cannot be erased. And it must be extended to Eastern Nagaland State. Amakan Diman Gurado, Judy Amakan State to buy it not Amaloka transfer in Gurubo, Ado 371 to Amakan John. Kilimani, it is Prime Minister, the floor of the House, the commitment Gurasa, Ado 372 to Tagimalaga, it is Kotasa. In return, Amakan Eastern Nagaland Ki Gurubo, the Eastern Nagaland people would handle the development and security of the region locally, which has not been seriously addressed from Kohima earlier. People of this border area would be brought to the mainstream of the Indian nation. All those personnel who have joined various groups and factions would be asked to join and take part in the new life to move forward and be part of development of the region of India. The entire Eastern Nagaland region is very rich in natural resources and three international trade centers are located in the region, which would be trade and commerce launching path to the ASEAN countries. Besides, Eastern Nagaland region is very rich in art and culture with a huge talent in handiworks and this part of the country could create a hub of, for building an economic powerhouse of the northeast of India. The Eastern Nagaland People's Organization is very grateful to the Government of India, led by Sri uh, Mod uh, Modiji, for enabling the ENPO to have four bilateral talks along with the officials of the state government representatives, in addition to Honorable Home Minister of India, Sri Rajnath Singh Ji, had met the ENPO delegation, Ito Toko Dogo India, our Vice President, Annang Goeja Se, Ito Hi Reputation Se. In this regard, the Nagaland government has convened to the government of India in, on 7th July 2017 that state cabinet had resolved to convene the centre to look into the issue of demand for the frontier Nagaland state and requested the government of India to intervene in the matter and take an early decision on it. Mali state government be ekta cabinet memo banana Sunday de Patagana, it all Eastern Nagaland demand Kurado, Avadar Kinabra Sidi. Therefore, the people of Eastern Nagaland have faith in Bharata Janta Party led uh, government at the center, headed by Narendra Modi ji, and fulfilled the long cherished dream of the people of Eastern Nagaland and resume the con and conclude the talk in granting the front of Nagaland state of, uh, uh, to the people at the earliest. Ito, Kurigana, Amar, BJB, Party, Uthini Gwanista, resolution passed Kurigana, Katkari, President Hadi, he said, Aro Katkari bi, Ito laga, reply to Kurimo Kane, Monde Agena, Chiti, Amaran power they are here. ENP or laga, Yati Dikasana. The demand for ANPO Nagaland State is the global movement and the grassroots. See nothing that carry the then BJP National President assurance. Assurance. We would initiate demand for Frontier Nagaland if the BJP comes to power in 2014 and we shall debate on the floor of the house. It was big. I mean, just it all Naga Mr. repeat the Bali, I'm not the main main talk of the budget, I'm not going to be the number. It then I mean I'm on last day. In that slogan you I mean, long live Kobo, I'm not 